<clears throat> Hello everybody, my name's Josh and today we're going to see Mr. President. So a year later you make your first decision and become a party member. Ooh. It's your birthday and your mother hasn't called you yet. Wine is nasty, politicians around you keep babbling. Your wife is standing by your side. Honey, can we go home? She says. You do not sense a question mark. I can't because I don't want to. She looks at you with resentment in her eyes. I am tired of you, she says. This is the last time you agree with each other. You are now divorced. Time drags by if it was dripping from a broken tap. You became a prominent politician. And yet here you are staring in the mirror, wondering what went wrong. Turning on your own words, you were about to change the world. I was about to change the world, guys. Apparently, you have changed yourself first. You cut your hair. You buy yourself a new car. I think cutting your hair is much cheaper. I look more handsome like in real life. Too bad you can't see it because I'm not using the camera. And just after that, you make a decision. Ooh -hoo. It's official. Your mother calls you as soon after the inauguration. You haven't heard from her in years. I'm sorry, she says with a tremble in her voice. Congratulations, my boy. Thank you, mother. You press the phone to your ear so hard that it gets sweaty, but your mother hangs up, apparently unable to utter a word. This is your last conversation before she passes away. That's sad. You are making a lot of difficult choices impacting the world. The highlight of your presidency is preventing the terrorist attack and saving hundreds of lives, or it's establishing a new law supporting single parents. People congratulate you, but you are not satisfied, not yet. You want to be remembered as the most president the most president president there there is so much more to be done and i think we're going to be actually in the game unless this is the game four years passed so quickly you are tired but but crave for more you simply know that this cannot be the end you decide to run for re-election <laughs> this is so interesting Ooh, dear mr president first of all i want to wish you a happy new year Secondly, I am leaving this card here to remind you about the urgent matters in regard to this year's election. You have to be careful when it comes to making choices and yet the most curvical aspect is your rating system. We must make sure that we win the second term. Ooh, I like this damn. I will keep the, my finger on the pulse and send people to remind you about all this stuff. When the right time comes, it's almost midnight as I'm writing this, so you will probably see this message on January the 1st. We'll see you at work in the new, hopefully better year, Vice President. I have a Vice President with me. Oh my goodness. Oh, secret door. Dude, there's two secret doors. Let's go. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> hello, sir. Happy New Year, President. How are you doing? What I meant was I have to set priorities before the oncoming election. We have to be pushing through a lot of promises and ideas, but focusing on the flagship issue is proven to be the most effective method. Why am I like that? Oh, that's so weird. Anyway, before I go to the next stage, just see what I'm looking at. I see a guy that loves me so much. He even walks like what I want him to look. I am pretty sure of who I am and what I'm capable of. I will decide for myself. I am the president after all, and I have to show who's boss. That's an excellent way to put it, sir. I'm sure that we are long as we put forward a clear message of demonstrate some degree of success. We are going to have all the support we need. Am I the guy that asks questions or that I'm the guy that's ignorant and hope for the questions come to me by sudden movements? 309 days to election. Oh my goodness. That is so long, I have more than enough time. So, you can relax, Mr. President. I wouldn't even start this conversation with you if it didn't have something truly extraordinary up my sleeve. Is that so? What is it? I'm talking about Grim 4.0. This absolute wonder of technology is going to make it possible for us to achieve even the grandest of projects. Okay, I'm not interested at, at, in it at all. Techno mumbo jumbo <laughs> is taking all the word for it. Grim 4, what is that? I need to ask questions because I'm the president. Uh, it's like a supercomputer. I don't fully understand it either. The lead developer is waiting inside, so feel free to call him if you are curious. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's see what he has to say. <laughs> it's a cardboard. <laughs> it's a cardboard. 
I live in Cromwell. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, hello. I mean, good morning, Mr. President. It's such an honor to meet you. And nice to meet you too. So, can you tell me more about the Project Grim 4.0? A uh, general robust intelligence matrix. We've added 4.0 just because it sounds cool. You are my kind of person. At this point, it's time it's un Undoubtedly the most advanced supercomputer ever made. I want this for my gaming. Integrating ins insane amount of processing power with a fully functioning quantum processor and a custom AI centric operational system. So I can have a friend in a computer and play games with a friend. So I can be looking, so I have a friend that can make sure there's nothing behind me. It's not cheating though. So it's like a very sophisticated sophisticated computer i'm a pretty smart president precisely and if we feed it relevant data and ad adversarial ai networks are bound to become the most powerful tools in the u.s most humanities outside all. just talking about it is making me excited this is making my head spin um this is making my head spin could you bring this conversation back onto earth i want some precise question and answers because there's people watching let's start with the basic program so that we can start the web edit on later please take a look at this project and make sure that we're holding on the right direction thank you for the help you can go now okay please go i need to <laughs> i need to think cardboard man I forgot your name okay it's not a secret door that's just the the main door it does look pretty ancient doesn't it it must be at least 20 years old well new president new stuff what's that a uh, project choose the path forward for the country this is complicated i can see that okay my goodness it's all about war i'm not a good person with war society oh my goodness ah uh, i get 55 million dollars oh catch on the last game events let's see hopes come soon by the new year's eve in oklahoma hammer and for most americans a new new year's eve is a day of celebration, parties, and hope for a better future. Yet ver every year starts with someone's hope consumed by fire, ignited by carelessness. There were 203 fire accidents reported in Oklahoma, I think that's how you say it, city and its closest area, and 107 of them resulted in a complete destruction of the residential buildings says okay c fire chief robert petro sorry dude in africa petro is something that goes in cars fireworks are dangerous and if not used properly can cause irreversible damage to people he warns that there were no casualties in oklahoma city but will this year be so happy to those who lost their homes i don't think so okay that's cool i can end day but i have a i have a i have a like a <clears throat> a message from someone, a director of presidential personnel. Good evening, Presidente. Just a short remark. We have just learned that your new security is pregnant with quadruplets, and we're in the process of looking for suitable replacement. I apologize for the inconvenience. This level of personnel rotation is quite unpredictable. A president. And I hope it didn't cause you too much th trouble. Sincerely, Director of President Personnel. Okay, I did everything, right? Traits? I don't have any traits because I'm dumb. I can sleep! Ah, beautiful beginning. Oh, I should have checked the laptop. Press left mouse button to continue. Beautiful beginnings, my friends. Oh, I got achievement too. Let's first take the news. Oldest turtle on the planet starts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, he's finally had words in his mouth. The oldest turtle on the planet, Josh202, that's my name by the way, who has lived on the island of Street Helena in South Atlantic since 1874. Never commented on anything that happened around him, but last Friday that changed. While eating a carrot and beginning photographed and recorded by a usual flock of bloggers and influencers from around the globe. Josh titled his head a bit, dropped his carrot and then quite clear and quite clearly ah! <laughs> and quite clearly said that word <laughs> by the way it was the first word ever pronounced by anyone in the species. Sadly soon after that Josh died, probably not even knowing that he left us forever wondering 
What would he they say next? So we have a person dead. <laughs> I swear. Oh, it's not even a person, it's an animal. Hey, hey, come in, come in, hey. Good morning, sir. There was something I'd like to discuss with you. Certainly, I'm all ears. We're both busy, so I'll get straight to the point. China is once again trying to pressure and intimate Taiwan. They are constructing a number of nuclear silos in Fujian province and deliberately doing nothing to hide it. Damn. Are they trying to start a third world war with or something? So I want to go with the bottom one. Mr. President, we put a lot of effort into our relationship with Taiwan. We are actually one of the few countries that has sent official elections all to expand our sphere of influence, of course. I see. So what's going to happen? My best guess is that the Chinese are just far posturing and trying to test the waters. I've been in contact with Taiwanese military intelligence agencies and they share my intuition. We even come up with a way to take China down. That's entirely up to you, sir. After I say my piece, I'm going to leave you with a decision making. Fair enough. So what are your options? Let's see what his options are. We're going to, to shoot Taiwan with five of our internal missiles. Huh? Huh? Don't worry, sir, they're going to be notified beforehand so that their anti-missile defense system perfectly intercepts all threats, sending a clear message to China that Taiwan is not an easy target. <laughs> That's brilliant! No, what if their anti-missile systems fail? Impossible, sir. How can you be so sure? I was the one to sell it to them several years ago. So you think our missiles are not going to fail because we gave it to them? I take it that you approve on this poem, sir. We are getting anything in return for expanding our military resources. Well, for starters, we get to maintain a close ally right under China's nose. I get a few too wanted to display strength. We could get them in to return the favor and nuke us back. Sort of like a military exercise. Though I don't think that American pacifists would like that very much. Uh... Now let's not get ahead of ourselves, dude. Anyway, that's all I hope to say in regards. I'll leave you short, a short summary of the typical map. So head there once you're ready to make a decision. Thank you, and bye-bye. <laughs> Cardboard man. Uh, the world keeps changing. Okay, uh, so you're not there for that. Oh, South Africa, that's where I live. Let's nuke it. Okay. Uh... We're gonna Faced with the nuclear threats of China, from China, Taiwan needs to display their defense capability capa and their need. <laughs> so, let's just not do anything. We're not gonna do anything. So, I guess this is it. Thank you, guys. This is for this world map. This is where I found laggy. Okay, go back. Oh, email. Let's go check out email and then we can go stop. Archived. Neat. Okay, Ronald, you can make some McDonald's, Mr. Mr. President. I'm extremely sorry to write this about this during your campaign for the second term. Uh, but while I'm not getting any younger nor healthier, I'm afraid it will no longer be able to cut your your. You don't want to cut my hair, sir. I know that you're deeply disappointed. <laughs> I'm very disappointed. I asked 10 years ago to cut my hair. Since you decided to run for the office soon after getting your first haircut in my saloon. <sighs> but I really see no other option at this point. The reason is I'm going blind. I started many years ago, but I lately can no longer see my hands. And that's why your haircuts were getting progressively worse. I'm really, really sorry. Hope you'll find someone better soon. Your humble hairdresser, Ronald. Oh my goodness, so sorry. So sorry, sir. <laughs> Why don't you tell me about any of it, Ronald? I still remember that when, you're, when you cut my hair for the first time, that's when I decided to run for the office. You were and still are an inspiration. I hope this is not to end, the end of us. I, I need you and I need your scissors. <laughs> get, his, get well soon. Send. He's riding back instantly. Thank you very much, Minus. How, wait, how is he riding back if he's, can't even see his hands? 
Well, that's no question. I think it's just a very a, a giant TV that I gave him yesterday. Mr. President, you are one of my best friends. I hope you knew that. Thank you guys so much for watching. With my 40... F f Four, five, five, eight million dollars in my bank account. I don't think we'll not play this again. We're gonna play this definitely tomorrow or something like that. But so <laughs> this is a long video on its own. So thank you guys so much for watching. So much reading. My voice is broken for all that reading. It's my first time reading so much and so poignantly. I don't know where that came from. But <laughs> there will be less cutting. So this this is this is a less cutscene thing. So you guys will see this most often. So if you guys if you guys like the video. Just like it. <laughs> Hit that like button with hammers or something. Just don't break your phone because you won't see my other videos. And subscribe. Cobble Man out.